let's look at a problem from your trigonometry book that uses two right triangles to find a height of a tree. This problem is from section 2.4 in your book. Now, what I have here is a drawing with two right triangles, one standing up on the ground with the tree as a leg and the distance across the river as another leg. And then I have another right triangle here on the ground. It says point A to point B. Begins another right triangle. And the important thing to do here is to think about these two right triangles by drawing them on the piece of the paper independently. They are connected by the distance across the river. And we could call the distance across the river A, but it's hard to draw on top of this picture. So on the left-hand side, we drew pictures as if we were standing on the side looking at the triangle. We have the tree whose height we'd like to know. And then we have the angle at A, and we're told that that angle of elevation from ground to top of the tree is 10.7 degrees. Now, notice that I'm not trying to draw an angle that's 10.7 degrees. I just drew a triangle and labeled this angle 10.7 degrees. My drawing isn't particularly accurate, but I'm keeping this angle to do these measurements, and I'll honestly evaluate the H and the A with respect to this angle. Remember, the H is the opposite side, and the J A here is the adjacent side. Now, the triangle that's laying on the ground, I could pretend I looked at it from above. I'm looking down the tree, down to the base of the tree. I'm looking at this right angle A and this other distance B, which was 24.8 feet away. I was told that the angle at B is 86.6 degrees. This triangle looks a little more realistic, but it's probably not particularly accurate either. But I do label the sides accurately. A, which is the distance from angle A, which is a right angle to the base of the tree, and the 24.8 feet here. This is the opposite side to 86.6 degrees. This is the adjacent side, 24.8 feet to 86.6 degrees. The common A here is what's going to allow us to work on this problem. So in this triangle over here, the ratio of A to 24.8 feet is the tangent of 86.6 degrees. And that tells us that A is 24.8 feet times tangent of 86.6 degrees. Now I can use this A, the A here and the A here are the same A in the drawing. I can use this A to find out the height of the tree because the ratio of the height of the tree to A is the tangent of 10.7 degrees. So the height of the tree is A times the tangent of 10.7 degrees. And A is this value here. Notice I didn't calculate this value. I don't need to calculate it unless I'm asked for it. So all I'm interested in is finding the H. I can just take this expression. The calculator will do the calculator. I can just take this expression and write it in here. So now I know the height of the tree is A, 24.8 feet times tangent of 86.6 degrees, that's the A, times the tangent of 10.7 degrees. And it's this number I can type into my calculator and then answer with the appropriate number of significant digits. So let's think about this. I have three significant digits for the distance. 
I have to the nearest tenth of a degree for my angles. So remember the table in your book that tells you how to calculate with significant digits. I believe it's in section 2.3, but let's look it up and show you just to be sure. If I go to the nearest tenth of a degree, I'm allowed to use, I'm expected to use three significant digits on the sides. So let's type this in. And then I'll show you what the calculator says when I type it in. Let me do it over the screen here for space. 24.8 times a tangent of 86.6 degrees times a tangent of 10.7 degrees. And that expression gives me 78.87 and change feet. I'm allowed to use three significant digits. So three significant digits, I'll say that tree is 78.9 feet tall. You see the expression that I typed in here from right to left, 10.7 tangent, 86.6 tangent, and 24.8. That's where I got that 78.9 feet tall. This is what I'm going to report. The tree is 78.9 feet tall, approximately. I'm sorry, let me slide that up so you can see it. 